Aloha, truth seekers. I'm Shasta, and welcome to this edition of Philosophy in the Forest. I've come a little ways out of the forest to show you the beautiful Puna Coast and the lovely Pacific Ocean at my back. And I'm here to talk a little bit about aesthetics and Frederick Schiller's The Letter of an Aesthetic Education of Man. And this is actually a letter that Schiller wrote, and it's also an essay that he decided that he should explore, you know, what is taste? You know, what is the point of teaching people about aesthetics? What is the point of cultivating an appreciation for fine art and appreciation for beauty? And Schiller really posited that learning aesthetics and learning to appreciate art helps people to actually operate beyond what's shallow and what are just these basal impulses and that people, human beings, all of us have this really high potential and that we can actually evolve into highly rational, very effective and logical people. Um, but we have to be able to develop this will. And the way that we do this is by learning how to balance sense and reason. And this is a state that happens where we establish the boundaries between what we feel and what is rational. And when we do this, we're able to actually develop our intellect and become these more operational people who are more successful because we've found a way to go beyond what's primordial and what's is just instinctual to not just be distracted by that which is beautiful or that which gives us pleasure. Because Schiller reminds his reader that beauty isn't an object, it's a feeling and that this beauty actually provokes an aesthetic state for us and that to make rational judgments we actually have to learn how to balance our emotions and Schiller proposes that we should have an aesthetic education so that we can sustain the balance between this compulsion towards that sensual pleasure and things that are beautiful to an application of logic and learning how to use logic and reason to discern and have better judgment. Um, so Schiller believes that people are naturally drawn to pleasure that and that we have to learn self-discipline and you know the mastery of our will so that we could control this primal pleasure drive and it's that these primal impulses that actually challenge every single human being because we really just want to behave like animals and when we learn how to use our will, that's when human beings, to Schiller, actually develop civilization. So when we use our reason, it's actually one of our most essential or most important or the thing that highlights the human animal is maybe this restraint, um, our ability to not just seek pleasure. Um, and that to Schiller, this is maturity, you know, learning how to operate beyond just these desires, um, the animal instinct, um, it actually gives us this feeling of empowerment because we've extended our intellectual capacity by learning how to operate our, our willpower and that we become something closer to that which is truly human, which is this discerning thinking um, animal that to Schiller you know, has this ability to be reasonable and to control its impulses. And, you know, the moment that we become these logical, reasonable people who are able to navigate our desires, the closer we have a better relationship, actually, to that which is beautiful, because we've developed restraint. Um, and so... Schiller really recognizes this idea that humans are motivated by desire and that desire fuels our lives and that we are just experiencing sensations, you know, pleasure, pain. Um, but to Schiller still agrees that beauty is a real fundamental component of that which is the natural world, that the natural world is beautiful. And we as humans and maybe all mammals are mesmerized by beautiful things. I don't know that Schiller would include all mammals, but I may include that myself. Um, and to Schiller and maybe some of his other contemporaries, the experience of beauty brings us to this heavenly state of grace. So 
there's still this idea of witnessing beauty that brings us closer to something that's divine because nature itself is beautiful and beauty is so pervasive uh, across all of earth and across all of creation that all that we can do is simply comprehend and try to comprehend and grasp that which is beautiful and you know we are so attracted to beautiful things that this can create so much tension that it can override our capacity to think logically and to Schiller the purpose of education is actually to help us to control these impulses and to not just be like moths attracted to that which is this beautiful flame you know and there's almost like a rapturous aura that surrounds beautiful things and it provokes us to this ecstatic aesthetic state that's beyond reason where we just act on impulses and you know everybody is every human is born with this capacity to recognize all of these beautiful things and that it gives us so much joy to Schiller every time that we experience beautiful things you know we have this like irrational pleasure and that when our psyche is confronted by beautiful things to Schiller we, we lose basically we lose it we we're not able to control ourselves because beauty is so overwhelming and it's the learning how to manage and make rational decisions in spite of this overwhelmingly beautiful world that makes us um, a more philosophical more educated human being um, because the aesthetic state and everything that's beautiful is just too chaotic it's too out of control it's it, it gives us too many impulses so there's like this other level of consciousness to Schiller that beautiful things provoke that is like well beyond that which is rational and almost to exist in the world we have to pull ourselves out of that and away from this beauty just so that we can become these rational civilized human beings so thank you so much for joining me at this the forest edge and have a wonderful night aloha